So this question came from the specimen paper. This was a section A question, marginal costing or break even. <clears throat> you may not be able to get your hands on a copy of this. So I've beamed the question up. So if you wanted to take a screenshot, make it easier to refer to as we go along. So I switched to the little camera now. So we've got the break even chart, which we've just seen. Have a look at what it shows us. So we've got the number of units going along the X axis there. We've got only one marker there, 10,000 units, the Y axis has got the costs and revenues so this is the monetary amount up here units down here so normally we would have the revenue starting at zero obviously we don't sell anything we don't make any money going in a straight line and then we've got total cost so that's fixed plus variable going in there and the point at which they intersect is obviously the break-even point okay so we can see that this business breaks even at 10,000 units so remember that the break-even Point is the point at which the total revenue and the total cost, so the fixed plus the variable, are the same. Neither a profit nor a loss is made. And we can use this to, to find some of these figures. So the first thing it's asking us to do is calculate the selling price of the product. Well, the revenue at the break-even point is £50,000. If we divide that by the 10,000 units, that's going to give us a selling price of £5 per unit. Okay, so we've just literally taken that 50,000 divided it by 10,000. <clears> and <throat> if we want to calculate the variable costs, we need to look and see how these costs behave. Now, remember that fixed costs go along in a straight line like this. They don't rise in line with output, whereas your variable costs do. So at this point, fixed costs have to be this 30,000 pounds. This part here doesn't change. So it doesn't change whether the output is zero or whether it's 10,000 units, or whether it's 20,000 units. So unless it steps up at one particular point, it will stay the same regardless of the level of output. So if that is the fixed cost, the difference of 20K is the variable costs. So at 10,000 units, the variable costs are 20,000 pounds. So if we divide 20,000 pounds by 10,000 units, that gives us two pounds per unit. Okay, so now we can, so it says state the formula used to calculate contribution per unit. So that's the selling price minus the variable costs and then over the page we're probably going to be asked to work that out I've read this properly yet this morning um, calculate the contribution per unit so the selling price is five pounds minus the variable costs which we worked out here with two pounds per unit is three pounds per unit um, the next part we've got to do is calculate the forecast profit if 12,000 units are manufactured and sold. So the total contribution, if we do that, it's three pounds a unit times 12,000 units is gonna give us 36,000 pounds. If we take off the fixed costs, which were 30,000 pounds, that is gonna give us a profit of £6,000. There we go. Six marks. Job done.